Hello, I'm Tom O'Heron. I'm the Director of Field Operations at Venture Solar. I'm going to walk you guys through what the components are of each connection point. This here is the flashing, which goes under the shingles and acts as a additional shingle. It has an elevated water seal that allows the water to flow around it. This here is the lag, which is going to be attaching in to the actual beams of your home to make sure that the panels are securely on your home. This is the L-foot. This is what's going to allow us to attach the rail and eventually the solar panels to your home. I already have the rafter located and the pilot hole drilled. I'm going to gently lift the shingle. I'm going to take the flashing with the elevated water seal and add additional heavy duty roof cement to the back of it right around where we're going to make the connection point. I'm going to use the lag to line up with the pilot hole, flashing underneath the shingle to have it act as an additional shingle. You lay the L foot on top of the connection point. I'm going to walk you through why it is we do this and how this keeps your roof watertight and actually leaves it off better than when we found it with more sealant and more flashing than when we got there. This is how water acts travels down the roof, over the shingles, around the elevated water seal, over the flashing. Not a chance it's getting in your home.